15 minutes of fame. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to 15 Minutes of Fame, and I am joined by the later comer. Yeah. <laughs> Where you been? Where you been? You know what Sundays was my thing? Church, washing clothes, getting the kids ready for school tomorrow, and myself. That's why I was kind of... Can you hear? Is your mic on? You don't hear me? Could you hear it? Turn it off? It's, it's, it's working. We had a lot of technical difficulties. Is that the next one? Okay, well, I'll continue talking. So I was, um, I talked about the Illuminati a little bit, mm -hmm. and our topic today is why are women settling? So why do you think women are settling these days for average men, um, less than average? Can you hear me now? Oh, HD, this is, oh, this one is dying, honey. Mm -hmm. mm, look, so I got it. Think? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why they settling? Yeah. Just why? to say they have a man? I guess. You I think, think they think settle in just to have a man. You think some women are afraid to be alone? Yeah, some women are afraid to be alone. I think that's why they settle in. Right. And um, I think some women just doing it too, like I said, just to say they have a man, and I don't see the point. So and would you do with a dude who had, like, his, he wore his pants like that and half his off, his off his ass, you know, showing his underwear, and would that be your boo? Just because he's like, is a shortage of men going on? No, definitely not. <laughs> mm, mm not attractive not attractive at all i mean when i was in my 20s yeah that was that was the luck like, that's my but, man yeah that's my boo but <laughs> not nowadays and i mean don't get me wrong sometimes they do be having it sagging a little bit and i'm like come here no we're right. not having this we're in our 30s now like put your pants up like you can look cute with your pants on your waist like no i can't do it right mm -mm. but do you notice you have uh some women who are decent looking dealing with like Crackheads. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder. I wonder why. What is that about? I mean, I can't really speak for them. I mean, um, I don't know why. I'm trying to think, have I ever dated a guy who was just Yeah. Yeah. We I've all said, been there. Yeah. So. Oh God. Cause sometimes when I look back and I think about like what was I thinking? Yeah, that's true. I I have one of those moments. Yeah. And I think it's it's more so for companionship. And you don't want to, you know, lose just a hat just a I think I did it just to be like, okay, well, let me see if I try something different uh -huh. and if I'll get the same result. And even though I tried something different, and it it didn't even work because I wasn't attracted to the guy in no way at all form. And you know how they say a person can grow on you? Yeah. Oh god, and he didn't even grow on me. Shout out to Black Crown. I got the hat on today. Oh, yeah. Shout out to him. What's his name? Sledge. Sledge. And um, Black Reggie, right? Isn't yes. it Reggie? Yeah. Shout out to them. I had their things on the other day. Had hair day. Yeah. I didn't wear the shirt yet. Oh, you didn't wear the shirt? Yeah. I wore it to go to the laundromat. And I'm I... waiting for my hair from China. I, like, text these, email these guys. Like, where's yeah. my hair? It's almost, like, two weeks now. Oh, and they didn't <laughs> send it to you yet? I want my hair. No. I oh, give it a he... second. It should be on there, but. Damn, I want to put it in. No, it, it should be coming. Out. I can't should wait. Be Long hair, don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I want to say shout out to my daughter, BB. She probably watching. I got her jacket on today. It was a bad day for me. BB. <laughs> when she see it, she going to be like, Ma, no, you don't got on my jacket. Yeah, it's cute, too. Hey, I like it. But like you said, let's get back on the topic about the um, settling. one. Why do you think some women, I think some men settle, too, say as men well. Men settle, oh, God. yeah. Men settle. Because, Jesus, <laughs> woo. I was talking to one of my friends, right, and a guy said this, and I cannot believe he said this to me. And... He was like, I'm settling for this chick because I know I'm number one in her life. I know she wouldn't cheat on me. Even though I'm doing me, I know she'll put up with what it is that I'm doing. Uh -huh. And she'll still be there and plus security. I said, what? He's a liar. Are, Are you serious? serious? That is and he said, I said, wow, a man? I said, so you're staying there because you know she's going to always take you back regardless what it is that you do? He said, absolutely. That's and then I crazy. said, so you don't even love her? He was like, no. I said, wow. That's crazy. That's sad. And I feel bad for her because she's sitting up there, you know what I mean? Thinking she's in love. Thinking he's in love with her. Posting right. things like, oh, my life, I'm so happy. And I just want to reach out to her like, boo, 
it's not even what you really think it is. Right. And I told it's him, not, I, it's not no, what you want. it's not. And I'm like, you know, in fairness, you need to be fair to her. Right. Because at the end of the day, you're lying to her, but you can't hide from God. You know right. what I mean? I'm like, why do you think your career isn't taking off the way it should be? Because you're lying to this girl. And, and it's, it's just sad. Right. It's, let's let's it's put sad. it out there. Who it is? Nah, it's that can't. Who it is? Nah, it's that because like, nah, <laughs> he might go like, ah! like, no, you didn't do that. It's it's just sad. It's it's sad. I mean, but but a lot a lot of women like to play second fiddle. I, Not to say I have. Let me see. I haven't done it willingly. No one. No, you don't know knowingly. Fiddle. Yeah. But when you find out, you be like deuces. Right. Like who wants to sit up there and be like they think it's a competition. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I spoke to somebody about this yesterday. Uh -huh. I said we are men's promoters. Right. You know what I mean? That's how they get their women. They don't nine times out of ten, a guy is not getting his woman because of him. <laughs> you you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> HD, agree with me on this or not? That's he, true. He's really not getting her. I'm hot. I mean, he, he's getting her <laughs> on this fool behind scenes. He's getting her sometimes because it's what it is. We talk to our girlfriends. <laughs> We like, oh girl, he got that good, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh girl, he oh, treats me like. Oh, speaking of that, what? I had a situation. I don't, you know, I love my, my dear friends, uh -huh. but you know, I think that some women. You you seen the picture I put on Instagram? Right? What picture? I didn't see. It. Uh, I, it's a picture I did a lifestyle shoot back in psh, maybe oh three. What you want to say? I'm a, it was in the Black Men's Magazine. Um, it was a shoot where. I was sitting with the guy. I was holding his hand, and I was covering his eyes so he wouldn't look at. You the just did it girl. recently? No, I, I did that shoot a while ago. But I put it up. No, but, but I the picture. A, when did you put the picture? I put, up? It, I put it up today. But I was in a situation like that last night. Like, you know, it was weird. Like, how how do you know this is another this is Got another it. topic for later day? Yeah. When are you, no, we when, can discuss it now. Right, but when is it time to bring your friends around somebody you're just starting to date? You know, they start to flirt with them, and how? You know is what? That? Honestly speaking. Grim, like grandma always said, it's not safe to bring your friends nowadays around your guy when you're trying to build something with him. Right. And um, when you know how your friend is, too. If your friend comes to you and be like, ooh, girl, look at him, and, and she's saying a, bit, a little bit too much about your man, yeah. I mean, you should know from past experiences like this one uh -uh, I got I, I can't bring my man around well, it's something new it's nothing official nothing official right but even but, and I do stuff to test people a little bit just to see nah. how they would be in nah, situations mm -mm. yeah nah. I thought that was like woo wow nah, like, don't. how do you know when to bring somebody around and but you, you know what I checked him I didn't check her I checked him because I'm like you know like that's not even cool he's like I'm sorry I didn't know but you the know. friend was coming at him too right right so no, so you really can't get mad at him too much. I'm not because mad. I wasn't mad at all. I was just like in awe, like yeah. wow, this still happens. Like I don't think you, 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 yeah, I understand why you checked him, but she been there longer, right? Right. right. So I would have been like, boo, you know, like have some respect. I yeah. don't do that to you and yours. So right. I would look at it like, love you. I would look at it like, are you being around me because you really can't get your man on your own? Mm -hmm. So you trying to be around me right. to see who it is. I'm dealing with, so you could try to pick up on my dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. that's how I would look at it. Like, yeah. So and I'm I'm just such a free spirit. I'm really yeah, open, now, and I like you, to share, not you, share, but I'm really open. I, I like everybody to be together and have no. a good time, and that's just how I am. You know? Yeah, I know. So I just I'm I'm one of those. I'm fair, and yeah. I, I give people enough rope to hang themselves a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes, and you know, but sometimes you gotta be careful about that. That's too, true. That's true. Because these these girls and these guys. Yeah. It's nothing but opportunists nowadays. They just come in your life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like I always said, they can't do things on their own. And yeah. some people like to ride your coattail. Yeah. And you know, wing it as much as they can. And you just gotta, you know, but it's so figure hard it out. to come come past friendships these days, you know. Like and I cherish my friendship as yeah. well as, as family because, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes family be funny style with you. Of it's course. weird. And yeah. and I kinda lean on good girlfriends to fill the void of Phony ass family members. Now you know what you gotta lean on at the end of the day. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's hot gotta, in here. Yeah, it is hot in here. No, no, I said that, and right? I said that. I said she better not turn on that freaking ear because we just came from out of the freaking cold. And she played a fool. No, but you can put the ear on. Taylor, gang, I, Taylor. It's like how can I say? Say it's we like that Taylor. Yeah, I am hot. It's like um, how can you say it? It's like with like friendship and. Nowadays, it's like you really gotta, like you said, wing it out. You don't know yeah. who's who. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you said, I can understand put them through tests because I put people through tests too. Yeah. To see, you know, what it is that they're doing. Then and I, I would, I don't ever want to lose a friendship over a misunderstanding. You know what I'm saying? So I cherish my you girlfriends. Could, you could, oh, oh, you could yeah. end a friendship though on a good note because I have. I, I don't want to. I, you know, I, I love. You know, because the thing is, when you have a friend, a friend, I take that very seriously, as well as I do family. Yeah. But when your family is somewhat not there, yeah. and, yeah. you know, they don't understand you, and they want to call yeah. you, you know, just, you you're diff- you have friends who understand you and who are companions who can, you know, be there for you. So I cherish that when I don't have it on the other side. You know what I mean? But being? then sometimes, too, I look at it as well, too. Like, some friends is going to... Let me see. Sometimes go agree with you to just stay. You know what I mean? To That's, just yeah. stay there. But it's never, yeah, I get what you're saying. You it's, what I'm saying? it's never perfect. But yeah. It's something to hold on to because when you don't yeah. have, when you, you're. I got, besides, outside of, I can't say y'all because y'all my family. Right. But I don't, uh, I have really two good, good, good friends. See? Yeah. And I had them for years though, say since BB and Beyond. My best friend, T- Tiffany, her name is Tiffany McNair. Yeah. I know Tiffany for 16 years. Yeah. And I, um, Tamika Gordine. So I know them for years. And they're your companions. And they're, they're your, more like. They're my, your confidants. Yeah, like, you and can, that's like, the thing. I don't I don't speak to them on an everyday basis. But it's real when it's real. And then you don't have like, to yeah. when it's genuine. And I don't see them that's all like, the time. Shout out to Anya. Yeah. Tiffany and Emmanuel. These are good girlfriends. Um, Hi, Shivanda. You know, good girlfriends. You know, I, I can say Anya. No, I love I'll, Anya. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not saying that, but, but Anya, I love Anya. Yeah, Anya should should be here today. Yeah. Oh, I gotta hang out with y'all. Yeah, I, she'll be here today, so I I'm love Anya because that. you know what about Anya? She just don't care. Yeah, she don't care. <laughs> and I she's think the Taurus. reason why Anya gives us a fair shot yeah. is because we're related to you. <laughs> but if not, I don't think so. I always said it like Anya, like she she says how it is, like. I love Anya. I love mess. Anya. She'll be here in this Manhattan, so we're going to shut it down. Uh, yeah. In the city. She'll be I here love soon. Anya. Within, she said 10 days, she'll be oh, here. Oh, 10 days? Okay. Yeah. And the season's happening. Her boo plays for oh, Phoenix. Oh, okay. So, oh, so shout out to Marcin. Phoenix. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. We, uh, so, yeah, like I said, I cherish those friendships. And it's yeah, not like you, you don't have to speak every day, but no. when you know when it's real, it's real. Yeah. You know what and, I mean? And that's the thing, like, with my boos. Oh, my God. When I speak to them and it's like we yeah. all doing different things, yeah. you know, in our lives and everything like that. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I have my friend Tamika is about to get married in a, a couple Tamika. of weeks. And I'm excited about that. I'm going right. to the wedding and everything. Good. And um, my other friend, you know, she has when I met her, she had no kids. Right. And now she's up there with me. And we talk about like, you, you know, mommy different thing, mommy <laughs> things and and I'm we're like, you got to get out a little bit now. You know, just don't yeah. settle on just, you know. Yeah. It's good just being a mom. And people don't understand that because you're a mom. You, you can't have leave. fun. Yeah. Like, you got to get out, ladies. Like, guys just want us to sit there and sit in the house and have right. these babies and keep us fat. And pregnant like, and barefoot. And yeah, barefoot. No, that's the truth. No, no, no. I'm telling you. <laughs> barefoot. I heard this from some like dude. Henry? Yes, he does. But no, I'm like telling my, you, my don't, first, first I, I wish you guys can, can see what's going on behind <laughs> scenes. But some guys say, I heard that from, like, I, and it's like nowadays, it just had me thinking differently about a lot of things. Yeah. I'm like, mm, it's, mm, it's mm. opening. Like, life, let me tell you something. Life is so good and yeah. God is so good. Oh, things, yes. And, the, like, the skies are the limits. Like, it's, you know, yeah. you, like, you follow your dreams, whatever oh, yeah. you're going to, I am, going definitely. out there. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. want the best for everybody. Yeah. But when it's not reciprocated, you got to keep it moving. Point, yeah. point, period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to. That's, that's what I learned. Yeah. I just, I'm just sitting up there following my dreams. I know and that's one thing. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Very my music yeah, and absolutely. dancing and yeah. working with the kids and, and that's everything. And we're supposed to support each other yeah. regardless. And I want to put a disclaimer out there for anybody who has a problem for what I say on the show, kiss my ass. <laughs> for real. For real, kiss my ass. Like, they always got something to say. I'm eating some candy on that. <laughs> Stay up here cursing. Kiss my black ass. And there's communion. Yeah, well, God, God forgive me, but kiss my ass. Like, my real, up. like, you point one finger, three points back at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm living my life. I'm doing me. You do you. Mind your business. I don't have a bunch of crazy babies out here. I'm single. <laughs> I'm handling my business. I'm doing me. So I got, I got crazy babies? No, I'm saying... <laughs> I'm just saying, people want to judge you for following your dreams and doing radio. We're entertaining people. You know what I'm saying? Like, Uh they want to take everything you're safe. If you know me, you know I halfway joke up here. I'm having a good time. And that's what it's about, having personality. Yeah. If I come over here as a say, yeah, I'm quiet. I'm shy. Oh, yeah, you shy. What what will we talk about? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I once again kiss my black ass. (laughs) It's not black. 
Well, light skin ass, <laughs> brown caramel, <laughs> vanilla ass. Yeah. Kiss it, kiss it good, and every and report that to whoever you go talk to. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh my God, I, I can't take it. I'm so sick of these people. Mind your business. I'm 31 years old, very grown. Very grown. That's what I always say. Say it's very grown. Exactly. You know how Nene be like, I'm rich. That should be <laughs> your saying. I'm grown. Very grown. <laughs> very that be your grown. Saying. Yes, I'm going to say what I want. I'm going to do what I want. Um, and if you don't get it by this now, it's my life. Oh, the third. Yeah. yeah. It's my life. And, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. Yeah. I, meant, I meant to say that like last weekend. Okay. Because I'm kind of sick of people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Always got something to say. It's like, damn if you do and damn if you don't. Yeah, always. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to continue to do this radio until the wheels fall off. You, you get it yet? Yeah. yeah. This is my life. I take care of me. I'm doing me. Mind your business. <laughs> and I'm just done. My, who, who, what's, what show was that? When it was like, That's all. It's my business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. So what was the other topic? It was just oh, about I, I, even, I reached into the Illuminati a little bit because oh, I wanted God. to speak about that a little bit. You do? So. Well, I was talking about the symbols of Illuminati. Like if one day when you go to Starbucks, take the, you know, the cover of Starbucks? Yeah. Take the little thing and turn it upside down. It's Baphomet. Yeah. Baphomet is the demon that the Illuminati's yeah. worship. Uh-huh. Like you, have you seen, remember the Beyonce con- costume? When mm-hmm. she's holding the wheel? Yeah. That's Baphomet. Oh, God. Oh. And turn it upside down. Anybody go to Starbucks and turn up, turn their coffee cup, the symbol that's on top, the, the lady, mm-hmm. turn it upside down and, and you'll see the Baphomet. That's the demon that they worship. What? Yeah. I am. Mm, yeah. I'm going to Starbucks. <laughs> no. I'm just saying, like, and like I, I say, to <laughs> start paying attention to symbols. And I talked yeah. about the owls that they worship. They worship the owls because it's all seeing eyes. They can yeah. see at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah. Girl, I don't even. I've been researching a lot know. of stuff. You can. I'm going to listen to everything you say about the Illuminati because they ain't coming at the game. <laughs> And it's dark outside too, <laughs> honey. No, I, I was just saying we need to be aware of what's going yeah. on with yeah. this with this stuff. Not that I, hey, I don't want no part to that. I'm good. Yeah. And I think they target the people who has a more a following, who has a voice, and yeah. mostly musicians and people in the music industry. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so I think they more so have things to worry about. Yeah. You know oh, that. No. Look at what they're doing to Cat Williams. Hello. Oh. Hello. Have you not seen how? All of a sudden, he's getting locked up. All of a sudden, he's got all these crazy charges. They're trying to make him look like he's crazy. <laughs> the same thing they did yeah, to Martin not, Lawrence, DMX. Yeah. You know, this is what the um, woman does. When you're not a part of their thing anymore, you're, you're, you're an enemy. You're target. But you know what? I feel like that's their fault. They shouldn't be so weak for success. For fame, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sorry. Kanye Wayne got a first own? ticket to hell. Do he know that? To each his own. <laughs> I'm not selling my soul to the devil to get to Hello. the top. I told let her just I Hello. ride that wave, wait yeah. for it, take yeah. my time. Yeah, like, and 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 you know how you see people, you wonder like, how the hell he get this, and they're so wicked and stuff. But you know what, what the Bible said: what is it to gain the world and yeah. to lose your soul? And that's and it's the thing: the world is of the wicked. So it's like you can't even worship the world. Exactly. And what's in it. You know what I'm saying? This is their thing. And that's what I'm saying. I was saying this to somebody that, and I was speaking to my kids about this. Yeah. And I was telling them, you know, like, you know how just some people just so malicious. Yeah. Um, and you wonder how. And I'm like, how can you sleep at yeah. night? Yeah. yeah. Like, because I, it's, it's uh, I can't do it. Yeah. I, I can't do it. Yep. It's, it's sad. These are the NDs, and we're living in this yeah. mess. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's why I don't worship anything materialistic. You yeah, can't worship either. idol, no. you know, idol figures, or anything mm-hmm. like that. This no. is the world of the It's going to be is... gone. You can't, because yeah. when you die, you can't take your money. Exactly. You can't take your cause. Exactly. You can't take your kids. Right. We're you can't it. take nothing. I want to do it the right way, and I want to get to where I'm going. Jesus Christ is yeah. where we're going. He got everything working out. Everything is going to take time, and he's yeah. definitely going to yeah. work it out. Working steps. And I don't know if you're into numerics. Are you into the numerics and noticing like numbers and when they're speaking to you? Like, you know what? I'm always I'm I'm into that. Um, every time eleven eleven comes yes. around, yes, I'm and you definitely know what 11-11 into that. Is? 11-11 is, a, is an awareness. It's like the angels are telling you, yeah. be careful of your thoughts. And you know what's that? I've noticed at a certain time, it's always around. I need to look into that. Yeah. My pastor, what it is. Mm-hmm. I'm always waking up at 3 o'clock to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what is this? And I know it's trying to tell me something. So you research it. But I don't yeah. know. I didn't research it yet, yeah. but I'm going to research it. And, I know, and I know. that's significant. 3 a.m. is a significant number. I always go. Is- I We're going biblical to, yeah. because it's, it's, it's yeah. something I've been researching a little yeah. bit. <laughs> and I always I always go to the bathroom at 3 o'clock and never, yeah. never and, fail. And again, the loving loving is telling you, be be mindful of yeah. your negative thoughts. It's like, yeah. switch that back on to your positive yeah, track. I always be do. Be careful. And I, I slip sometimes, you know what I'm saying? All of us do so. Like, I've noticed today, I've mm-hmm. never seen this. 10-10. 
I've seen it today, so you know what I did? I Googled it. Okay. And say. that's the angels are talking. They want you to acknowledge that they're yeah. giving signs and signals. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, so that means you're on the right track. So everything that I manifest in my mind is going to come to fruition. Like, yeah. I stay with positivity. I you stay with those to. visuals. And you regardless to. of what goes on, it's mayhem going on. I know, on I do. Me, but say, even but right now, we may, and it's, this applies for all of us. We can't see it, mm-hmm. but it's a spiritual warfare going on. Of course. Our angels are fighting our demons. Yeah. We just can't see it. Definitely. Going on right now. Definitely. And that's why they you know upset and then and it's just like when the good comes for you the bad comes for you as well and I, i'm on the right track because it's, it's a true him happening around me you have to understand peace be still peace be still you always have to say that peace be still and you have to acknowledge just like the most successful people in their lives just because they're successful it wasn't easy for them to get where they was they right. were struggling people don't understand that like oh because they have this and that it's still hard because yeah. it's like they don't know who's for them and who's against them and, you know, who's still coming against them. It's hard. And, like, dealing with just life, period. Right. It's, it's just hard. Yeah. It's hard. That's why you got to stay prayed up. Hello. And know God for yourself because Hello. if you don't, we have, we have Jesus. A okay. He's they call it unknown. Right. Hi. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Fame. Hello. They're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Creepers. <laughs> Speak up, creep. Hello? It's Charlotte Fox. <laughs> Shakura. <laughs> That's sad. <your word. laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> you know who that was? Oh, God. Again. <laughs> the world of the wicked. How about that? Sad. You got to pray for him. <laughs> sad. Yeah, sad. Creepers. Thank you for watching, creep. <laughs> you see that? Hmm? You see that? Anyway, we have Raina Jarrett Green to get here. Like Jarrett Green? From Past the Rock. <laughs> I need some water. Did, I'm yes. thirsty. <laughs> Did you see I'm that? I'm so thirsty today. I don't know why I'm thirsty. That, has that ever happened to you? Yeah, girl. You be so thirsty. Dehydrated. It's from all oh the my haters. God. And I don't even use that term. I hate it. Right? They're thirsty. <laughs> haters are thirsty. Thank you for what you're watching us right now, right? You're thirsty. Oh, my God. I can't take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. So sad. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's, no, you just, it's crazy. You just, I mean, sad. You just gotta pray about everything. I, I, I put that on my post. Yeah, today. I leave that. Um, I leave all that in God's hands. You have to. You just gotta pray and stuff. I'm gonna keep doing me. Keep yeah, smiling. Keep being positive. Yeah, I'm too. happy. You guys got your own issues. Oh, call we have another caller. caller. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Fifteen minutes of fame. Oh, okay. Uh, who, who am I speaking with? It's Saya. Who's this? Who's this? Hey, Saya, this is your brother, John. Hi, John. Brother. <laughs> brother. I, said, I said, let me go ahead and see what's going on. Ah, uh, John, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm sitting here looking at you and by Seema <laughs> running off at the mouth. She's smiling. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, it's not streaming good. I don't is know. It's probably good? my cable. My, and, huh? Why don't you reset it? We yeah, started. I think Reboot he has it. good connection. Hi, Miss, uh, well, what's up, boss? Hey, Mr. Trice. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at this. Okay, I'm proud of y'all. Y'all know that, though. Yeah, right? Do you have an insight on the topic of today? Set on. What happened? I, said, I, I, didn't hear, I didn't hear the topic. Like I said, my stream, I don't know why it's not coming through. Oh, we're going to tell you the to topic. Part of this. You know, that's a very interesting topic of conversation, anything I put my mouth on. Well, put your <laughs> mouth on it, because you put your mouth on a lot of things. <laughs> You know, we're going to get, uh-oh, I put my mouth on a lot of things. Yes, That's honey. Oh, okay. Ooh. You would know, wouldn't you? Yes, honey, I would know. Oh, I would definitely like to uh, <laughs> get out there and talk to you all. Oh, my God. <laughs> I like this. That's what's up. Yeah. We're going to tell you the topic of the day. Go ahead, Tima. Settling. What's the topic of the day? Why, why are women and men settling yeah. for average? Hold on. Let me turn this down. Why yeah. do men and women? No. Hold on, let me turn this down. Yeah. I don't know how the hell. Hi. So is this is this live? Y'all talking it's, it's right now? Or? Yes, we're here. We can hear you. <laughs> Everybody can hear so you. So what am I watching? What am I looking at? Is this? Don't, don't pay attention yeah. to none of that. Just, 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 just answer, answer the question. Huh? Just answer the question. <laughs> Why are you okay, what's the topic? Go ahead. Tell me the topic. What's the topic? Why do you feel like some people are out there settling nowadays? 
Oh, uh, because you have to. You know that. I mean, but not me personally. That's why, you know, I'm the age that I am with no children because I'm not just settling wow. for anything. I see to too many. I'm not. Listen, you know feel, what? Listen. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that because I'm not go there. No, I'm please don't go there. Go there. I don't have no children. Okay. I can go there. But tell the reason why you don't go there. Tell the reason why you don't have kids. <laughs> Why? Because mm. I hadn't found a woman that was good enough, willing to accept me for me. <laughs> this dude is lying, y'all, because I'm going to tell y'all right now, I know him personally. And see, that's you know me, that's it? I know you. You know me? I know you. If you're going to be honest, let's put it all out there. You might have oh, a girlfriend. Nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. No, well, I guess you don't really know me, or maybe I didn't really know you, for, so maybe that's the reason why I don't have no children. Yeah, okay. Oh. I could have sworn, um, you know, I'm going to be quiet. 15 <laughs> minutes to stand. Y'all going to have to expand this show and call it an hour of gossip, because I tell it like it is. Yeah, you need to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking Mr. Trice face. <laughs> that's right, John. Yeah, you listen, you. listen, listen. You know the family loved me. You know they do. And give my grandmother the shout out because she's probably listening. Shout out to Big Cat. <laughs> shout out to Big Sandra. Yeah, and they, shout yeah. out to all the uncles. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Baby. She shout out to the whole family. Do I need to pull my pad out? I know everybody. It's a lot yeah. of us, right? It's a lot of us. Yeah. Um, yes. I need to go to the kids. Do I need to shout them out too? It's too many. Okay, let's shout them all out. We're going we to we just leave that alone. <laughs> so have you found yourself, John, ever settling, knowing that you really didn't care too much for the woman? Just to say Oh, well, who, who's that in the background speaking? Fasima. John, stop playing with me. What? What happened? What's going on? You heard me. Have you ever no, found I yourself? No, I didn't. I actually did. Did you find yourself ever settling just to say you was in a relationship knowing that you really didn't care for the woman? I mean, it has happened before. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of nobody wants to settle, but sometimes situation and circumstance and things like that just happen. Okay. And you know, rather than hurt somebody's feelings, you just you know you, you ride it out until the wheels fall off. So did you? I think tell everybody's her? been a victim of that at one point in time. So did you tell her that you really didn't care too much for her? Like you just dealing with her just you know until the right one came along. I mean, it was it was probably more or less of an issue of letting her break it off because she might have felt that she wasn't getting what she wanted. But Aww. in the meantime, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But in the meantime, at the same time, hold on. In the meantime, at the same token, I never did nothing wrong. Okay. So as long as I never did nothing wrong, even though it might not have been what I had my eyes set on or my goals set on or my uh, heart set on, yeah. I never did nothing wrong. So if she chose to leave, mm -hmm. then that's on her. And I don't feel bad about nothing because I didn't do anything wrong. Right. Okay. Nobody, no no one person is going to, I mean, that's just me personally. I have high standards. I don't think that what? one person. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's right. Me? That's right, John. You got high standards. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he does. I mean, I mean, Why I mean, be honest with you. What? Hey, why listen. Why you stay with John? Yeah. Why you stay with John? I asked her why. Why didn't you guys work out? Why what? Why do you? Why didn't you guys work out in the relationship? I asked. And I want him to be honest. I'm gonna let <laughs> him Listen, we go. Listen, we go. No, we not go. We not go yeah. argue. We gonna leave that topic. We gonna leave that topic <laughs> for. Because uh, he about to lie. Another, That's what I see. Because um, I think that you guys would have been married by now. Who? Me and John? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah, no man. doubt. John, no doubt, no doubt. John, wait a second. John, that had you nothing know, to do with age. It, it was not. It wasn't. It has nothing to do with age because you know what? Can I, tell, happen. Can I tell the people what you did to him? What? You stabbed him. I did. <laughs> I did. She said the Jasmine Sullivan on his ass. I did. <laughs> Johnny, you. Right? I didn't do it like that. It was just like a. John, you still here? He's there. I'm still here. I'm tell the listening. reason why. What did you do Trust to me, me John? My ear ain't never been this open. John, what did you do to me, though? Tell what you did to me. What? Why, why, why did she what, stab What me? did you do to me? How, when? Why oh, my God. We're going to tell the truth about yeah, everything. Yeah, let's tell the truth. Why did she stab you? I'm at the age where I don't have to lie. What did I do to you? I mean, we, you know, earlier I said I thought we was in a relationship, but you laughed at all, so I guess we wasn't. So I'm just trying to figure out what point in time you're talking about. No, because now Saya, we're down, be no, Saya just, and I tell you exactly what happened. Okay, Saya just said an incident happened between you and yeah, I. Yeah, I asked her. We was, I was in my 20s, right? Yeah, I was young. Yeah, you were. And I was, um. And she stabbed you. I didn't stab him like that, <laughs> Saya. You're making it seem like I had a knife, like, ah, 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 ah. It so, didn't happen like that. We want to know, why did she stab you? 
Hold on, what happened? <laughs> I asked her. Hold on, I'm trying to show. I, I had to turn the volume on. I got to sit oh down and put my charge in. Hold on. Her. What happened now? I asked her, why did she stab you in the hand? Oh, why did she stab me? Oh, oh yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I definitely remember that. Hold yeah. on. Yeah, let me plug my phone. We're going we to talk about this. <laughs> Yes, plug your phone. Oh, oh two your seconds. Phone. Okay. Up here. Now, why did she stab me? Yes. Do we really need to know? Am I allowed to uh, say yes. this on the radio yes. or the yes. internet or whatever it is? Yes, yes. 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 John. Why did she stab me? Oh, why, why did she stab me? Because she was still screwing her ex boyfriend and I <laughs> found out about it. And I went to call her. Wait, no. I missed the smacking the shit out of her. <laughs> and and, and uh, <laughs> she felt a little threatened at the time as a man. Was it wrong? Did I put my hands on her? No. Oh, did I punch her? Did I draw blood? Nah. But you, you know what? I will choke yes. and I will smack. Oh, my God. The hell out of the female. John. John. <laughs> yes, I wasn't on the toilet and you kicked the door down. You don't remember I doing that? Hold on, I kicked the book. I, no, no, no. What happened was you asked me to go in your pocketbook, and I went in your pocketbook. And what did and you find, found John? Letter, and I found a letter, a letter. And in the letter, he said how he, he missed screwing you last week. You heard what week. he said? And I'm sitting here no, reading no, the letter, no. and I'm See, like, John oh, my God. See, John, no, wait a second, John. Room, wait a second. Room, if on, you be honest, and I'm going to let you speak. when I came in the room, mm -hmm. when I came in the room, yeah, I, I got a little crafty with my hands. I and then you told your friend to piss the with me. You didn't say that? He oh, didn't tell Eric the pistol with me. Can, can I get my 15 minutes of fame? Oh, yes, he did. He was like, go can in the car. Wait a second. You are. Well, but John, you didn't minutes. tell your friend to go in the closet and pistol with me? You didn't say that to me? Wow. Hold on, what happened? Oh, he's trying to act like he don't remember nothing now. No, 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 no. You didn't no, tell I'm Eric listening. that? I just want to be clear what I'm hearing. What happened? You told Eric to pistol with me. I pistol with you. You told Eric to pistol with me. No, <laughs> Eric, you know what? You know yeah. what? I'm tell you this. Yeah. Eric is my brother, and Eric is my man. Mm -hmm. I ain't never told nobody. Oh I, I wish you, you know what? I wish he was a man. I John. love you, dog. If you listen, John. probably not. But if you look at his Facebook page, you just see what type of dude he is. That's my man. John. I love him 100. No, Can I, I ain't say never something to you? With nobody. He's not. He's changed now. But he wasn't that way forever, just like I wasn't the way I am forever when I, I was I don't know in the why day. he told you that. I never pitched him. Oh, my you. God, you know John. Exactly what happened. John, you was up there. Put... Honest, you know I ain't hurt you. Did I hurt you? Yes, you did. Aw. How did I hurt you? What did I do? John, you was beating me up. Aw. Oh, and wow. John, seriously, you wasn't? I was beating you up. You was, seriously. Oh, my, oh, oh, let me find oh, this. Oh, I... Mother, I'm I... sorry for using you. Oh, my dead mother, I was beating you up. Yes, she was, and I wish you just be Okay, honest. okay, put like this. Okay, you know what? We're going we gonna to be honest. We're going to keep okay. it real honest. Go ahead. The, the way that I supposedly beat you up. Go ahead. <laughs> have you been beat up worse than that before? By any dude ever in your life? No, I never been hit like that before. Oh my God, Lord have mercy! Yes, like, Lord have mercy. To cut off. Watch the lightning bolt, yeah. Taylor. It's about to happen <laughs> oh, for real. Move Watch right the lightning now. bolt. No, I you should. No, you need to move up with his little con artist lying behind. Because if he was honest and he know why I did that, and it wasn't I did it on purpose, but I was trying to protect myself. And that's what I'm saying, ladies. We could get on that. Dudes be thinking. Oh, no, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, no, you hold up. No, because that's how it's y'all. No, uh-uh. See, that's the thing. Dudes. No, I didn't say that. We was tussling. We was no, tussling. Let, let's be honest. No, you did not stab me. We were what tussling. What happened was, but let me, let me no, tell you what tussling. happened. You ain't stabbed me, nah. Oh, I never said with you the stabbed knife. me. Oh, I thought she stabbed you in the hand. <laughs> we were nah, tussling with the knife. Me. Oh, no. She, let me tell you something. She went and got a butcher knife out the kitchen <laughs> yeah, sure and was did. like, oh, don't you be putting your hands I on me. I thought you didn't put your hands on me. Line. Didn't you just listen, say you didn't put listen. your hands on me and you heard what you said? <laughs> Dad. We gonna keep it, listen, yeah. we gonna keep it going. Okay. If I had put my hands on you as close as I am to the family and as many uncles as you got. Yeah. But let me I tell you something. Had, first of all, no, 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 no. I wouldn't first even of be all, here right now if I had not, actually put my hands on you. First of all, let me tell you something. See, that's how, let me tell you something. How much I really put my hands on uh, and I'm still allowed to go to this house to this day. Let me tell you something no to problem. you. The so reason let, why let, you let, ain't get your ass for, whipped for, is for because I stopped it. My uncles wanted to see about you if you really wanted to be seriously. I said, no, don't do that to him. Let me do it. I don't know. Hey, listen, I know. I think your uh, listen, your uncles know you because you they family and your uncles know me. And they was going to get you, nobody. but I stopped it. Trust listen, me. Listen, I'm John, not even one of those dudes. Hold on, John. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? Hang up with John, because John hey, just want to go back in the past. Hey, thank you for calling 15 Minutes of Fame. You're on air. 
Hey, what's up, what's up, y'all? This is Dave, part of the 15 and more family. Y'all Hi, back Dave. up in the year. Hello, Dave. How you doing, honey? Good, good. Just wanted to call in, shout out, give y'all girls support and all that. See Thank what y'all up to. Thank you. Thank you so much. What do you have on no uh, your info, your input on the topic of today? Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Oh, wait, where's Nina at? I got something for Nina. I got she got the problem. virus, the stomach virus. She got the bubble guts. I think yeah. she's... Oh, She'll be she back. She's not feeling good. Yeah, you know that's going around. So people, be careful. The virus is going yeah. around. She got the bubble guts. So she yeah, got to get it out of her system. Hopefully, she'll be back hopefully next week. She's just sick right now. She doesn't feel good. Mm-hmm. You can no probably doubt, call no her, her cell phone. Hit her up on her phone. I will. I'm a, you know what? Re reach out to her when y'all get the chance and deliver a message and tell her that, that I think that she had one of the sexiest, you know, child's play costumes this past <laughs> Halloween weekend. Aww, okay. We will. It was dope, Why and you, you know there? I heard y'all look great. The party was mad, empty. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been yeah, there. Yeah, I know. Man. I I heard. Look, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about <laughs> but it. But I, I had a good time. Yeah, we'll yeah, we had fun it. anyway. But I, yeah, it was. I it had a good, good time. Y'all yeah, know was, I can have fun by myself. How. You there y'all go. See, there you go. So, you know, I want to call up and give y'all good yeah. support and whatnot. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, love. No problem, no problem. Y'all take care. Salute. I hope Bye. John hung up because I'm tired of going back and forth. John. Wrong. Is he still there? Yes, he is. John. He better not be there. John. Wait, let me see. It's on hold. And I'm going to smack you so, so I stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't understand. This dude, his version. Like I said, he was sitting there, yeah, I did. This was when I was in college, my first year of college. John. And it was my ex at the time. I told him to get something for me out of my suitcase, yeah. and I went to stay with him on the weekends. Let's see my and he found the note. The letter say in the letter, it basically said in the letter, um, I miss making love to you. And he kicked, I'm in the bathroom. He kicked down the bathroom door John. and started beating me up. Really? And I'm like, dude, <laughs> if you read the letter, he said he missed making love not to me you guys not were. that we was of course he was my ex we missed and then if he really be honest with you this is how i know he was creeping oh here goes john okay let me john, say that sound yeah let's let's, let's go john hello welcome to 15 minutes of fame yeah, I, I, yeah, i'm sorry about that ladies i got disconnected yeah okay. okay wait i was telling the story hold on for a second so how i found out about him we used to work together so you know, when I was not with him, they used to be like, they liked me at the job. So he was introducing people like, this is my sister, this is my sister, this is my sister, and me being naive and gullible. I was like, oh, how you doing? So then they was calling the house, can I speak to my brother? I was like, hold on, let me get on the phone. So then one day, thank God for grandmothers. Uh -huh. My grandmother, you know, worked for the sheriff's department. Uh -huh. she, I went to her house, she said, do me a favor. Give me his plates. Uh -huh. I said, Grandma, why? Give me his number. I want to run his information. I want to run this dude. Let's do a background on. check. <laughs> I said, okay, Grandma. I'll give it to you. She was like, but I want to find out something. I said, no, Grandma, he's good. This is his car and everything like that. So my grandmother did what she did. Uh -huh. And then what happened? Come to find out, the car wasn't his. It was in his <laughs> ex-girlfriend name. John, is that and true? then on top of that, say one day we went to go pick up the girl he was dealing with. We was in a car together. Oh. And I'm wondering why the girl giving me an attitude. And I'm like, I just met you. I don't know you. You don't know me. You so hold on, be quiet for a second. You supposed to be a the, the sister. And then what happened was her girlfriend told me. The girlfriend was like, you know, they're dealing with each other. And I said, Oh, so. This is the one that she was like, the car is in her name. That's why she's acting like that towards you. Oh. So, John, stop trying to make it seem John, like it was, was me. Trifling. And then you know oh, what John I did? Wait a second. John and you know what I said? And you know what I said? I said, he want to play with me? I said, I ain't going to break up with him. I'm going to get him back so oh. he can know how I feel. And that's exactly what I did. Pal. Two can play that game. Pal. Five. Sure, can I have my, can I have my question shot. now? Yes, I'm, I'm what you do. Yes. I just wanted to hear how the story transpired. Yeah, because you were liar. One, one, two things, two things. One, the girl was not my girlfriend. Say yes, it was. Okay, you. that's what you think? I'm not here he to was change the mind. Plus, that was over, like, well, was I don't know her. how many years ago. John. Plus, one, that, that was over, I don't know how you many years ago. You wasn't screwing her, John. She ain't just going to put no car in her name for no reason. You was giving her the business. Come on. The business. Man, you cool now. Dude, come on. Don't, don't make me be we like this to you. We was the other business. I just... I just had a friend of mine come get his motorcycle uh, title for me the other day. I'm not he, talking he, about. He see, you talking about now, sweetheart. 
if, I, if I'm in a position to help somebody or somebody is in a position to help me, then yeah, that will happen. I'm not giving my boy the business, so why do you think if somebody <laughs> fucked you? Oh, you put a dude? Let me find out you don't went on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know you like that no more. <laughs> John, hold on. Hold on. Call us later, hold on. John. Hey, welcome to 15 Minutes of Fame. <laughs> I can't. Hi, welcome to 15 Minutes of Fame. You're here. Yes, I want to call and talk about the situation between Basima and John. Ma, ma, I'm don't you stop. Mother. Ma, are you serious? We're not talking yeah. about speak that. Speak on the sister, speak. <laughs> Did she hang up? Yeah, yeah. she hung up. <laughs> Thank God. Ma, don't you call back up here with that. Because nobody ain't worried about no John. I don't want him to think he count. Wait, he's still on? John, no, say so hang up on John, because John is getting on my nerves. I'm going to hang up on him. Oh. Stop letting him think he count. Shout out to Heavy Bags in the building. Is he still there? John, don't you call back up here. If you want to deal with this, you call me off air so we can deal with this. Give him your phone number. No, because John is gay now. He's up there. <laughs> Playing titles and dudes' name. Let me find out. You yeah, I was looking at you si sideways sometimes because you used to be in the mirror a lot more than me. He was getting your freaking nails done with the S curls. And I loved you back then, but now I'm just like, yeah, I should have known that nigga was giving something or taking it or something. She's now playing. you done came out with it. I'm happy you done came out with your truth. I want you to stop dealing with these females. And keep your wine she's, up there putting titles. You gotta cut it out. She's Who's doing that? Is anybody up there doing that? She's joking, John. We're gonna no, come. No, I'm right dead back. serious. We're gonna come no, right back. I'm Our serious. guest is here, Jared Green. Okay. We'll be back. I'm dead serious. <laughs>